Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video of the garage I'm in right now. We're in the process of selling this house and buying a new house, well, new to us house. Um, so it's definitely jam-packed full of stuff that shouldn't be here and uh, needs to get rearranged. And the two Vidmar cabinets there were from my job. They were my work toolboxes. I've already been through everything and slimmed it down into what I need for here and, you know, helped people out and gave some people some good deals and stuff. But this is, let's see, this is a center block house. Um, the listed dimensions are 15 by 23 feet, but that is based on the exterior dimensions and not the interior dimensions. So you got to take, what is it, like 16 inches off from both sides because the blocks are like 8 inches thick. Um, and it's really tight. When we bought this house a handful of years ago, the idea was to build a big garage in the back because it has a huge, it's on a big lot. If for being in a city, it's on a half acre lot. Um, but cost comparative wise, between either spending the money on building a garage or converting our unfinished attic into finished living space, there was no return on investment. So we decided to just buy what we wanted or reasonably so instead. Um, more land, more buildings, more stuff. So we got come in standard door. We got air compressor, some stuff on the walls, fan, uh, drill press on a stand, bench grinder, bench vise. The vise can be unbolted and moved around, so that did give a little bit more workspace. Uh, this garage currently is run. I want to say on, I have it on a 60 amp breaker, uh, but it's actually wired to go all the way up to 100 amp because we bought the house, we had to redo the electrical service. And so, since a friend was doing the work, I had him go ahead and put in a sub panel in here that can handle everything that I might ever need in it. So when you're tiny garage, you gotta make sure you use all the wall space. And I'm gonna be honest, I probably didn't use it to the best of my ability. I don't know if you can see up there, it's dark. You can kind of see some wood hanging over. I actually have full uh, overhead capacity from there in over the den area in the house that's about 16 feet deep by 12 feet wide in that section it only does uh half of it it actually only only extends to about that joist yeah right in between those two beams right there um it used to be a mud room and somebody closed it in and closed in a rear porch but i have access up there i floored everything in all the way across Got my lights, got my nice Vidmar cabinets uh, from work. Got all my drills over there, miscellaneous stuff. And yeah, somebody will probably say this is a giant fire hazard. Uh, more fan, a hastily cobbled together um, paint can rack. There's my panel. Yes, it is not OSHA. OSHA compliant because there's not 36 inches of clear space all the way around it the new owner can do that themselves uh, place for radio charging station zip tie city a couple of wall cabinets i got to try to keep a calendar out of the picture uh roll out I used to use this as a wet bench cart i had a uh, parts washer but it just, <laughs> there's no room for the parts washer in here so parts washer got donated to somebody that could use it um more shelving and equipment, you know, scan tool, rag bucket, clean rag bucket, not empty, not dirty rag bucket. Uh, small rod cutoff, conversion, the swag conversion table for my uh, porta ban. Got a bead roller, or yeah, a bead roller I've never used. Uh, kids' blocks to go to donation. Like I said we're in the process of moving. File cabinet, all this stuff. You know, miscellaneous pull-out drawers and, you know, everything else. Uh, all of my cabinetry, toolboxes, if you're, BJ's off-road plug, if you do full-size Jeeps, uh, old-school, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, J-Trucks, Gladiators, use BJ's off-road. They're great people. This is not, you know, just, they're good people. Use them. Uh... 
<laughs> let's see the top box there let's see here let's look at these boxes so this old Mac box this was a gift from a buddy uh, because he had bought a bigger toolbox and he knew I was looking for some extra space so he said here you go you can have it so that's a freebie box uh, this box is beat up and came out of a body shop but it was a $250 used box off of the Snap-on truck. The Craftsman side cabinet was a Christmas gift 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, that bottom Mac box and that middle Craftsman cabinet were actually part of the first toolbox set I ever bought. It was used. It was a hundred. I paid a hundred or a hundred and fifty dollars for the three pieces. Uh, and the top box that came on it originally was an old J.C. Penney like three drawer hooded top box. That box is I don't know who made it, but it's a pretty decent box. Um, which side's got all the damage? But yeah, so somebody hit it with a hammer or a forklift or something like that and dropped it in the metal dumpster but all the drawer slides and everything have always worked so that was free um and the two two or i guess three vidmar cabinets uh, a friend of mine sold me those on a discount i think that was like 1500 bucks so you don't really have to put a lot of money into uh, toolboxes if you're smart and have friends and keep your eyes open for good deals and things like that um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna walk you around the upstairs well not walk you around I'd have to crawl you around it's not full height oh I do have a little quartz heater up there too uh, it doesn't work as well in this garage this one you know being block it, it kind of holds coldness I guess it all it's always cooler in here even when it's hot out like it is today um, a previous garage that I had was stick built completely and it, uh, that, that little unit, it was, it was 18 by 20 garage and that little unit, uh, actually would heat it up pretty good. It, if it was freezing outside, it would get you up and, you know, into the fifties. So that wasn't too bad. And I've always got the R2D2 heater for backup if I need it. Little kerosene job. Um, between the, my first garage and this one. I lost my first garage was was 18 by 20 and it had a 4 by 6 like closet built on the outside so I could keep my air compressor and things like that in there um, it uh, transferring from that garage to this garage I actually ended up losing a couple hundred square feet the new house I'm gonna have a 16 by 34 garage uh, which you know probably isn't that much bigger but it will be a little bit more space I'll be able to lay things out just a little bit differently and it also has a uh, bank barn which is a style of barn that's kind of built off of a hill so the the backsides like freestanding uh, foundation wise um, that I can move all my wife's woodworking stuff into so you know the miter saw won't be in here anymore the table saw won't be in here anymore. There's some other miscellaneous stuff. I gotta fix this old Westinghouse fan too. It used to have a, a fan motor in it and it was bad. And a friend of mine was like, oh, I can help you out and get it fixed. And yeah, he, he kind of jerked me around. That, that never happened. So if anybody knows a good universal fan for a fan motor for a 1940s... I want to say if I looked it up right, it's mid late forties, uh, Westinghouse fan that had a three speed controller with it. Let me know. Cause I want to get this guy working. I just think it's cool as hell. I got it out from my, from a family member and uh, it's in really good shape. It still goes up and down. Um, so just needs a motor, but yeah, tiny garage and looking at moving sometime September ish. And, uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of the new one as I set it up. I've got to go through and do quite a few things to that one to get it ready to go. Uh, the barn is on its own power circuit and is relatively new. But the uh, uh, the block garage that I'm going to be using actually is 
it's wired properly and and it doesn't seem to have any issues and it passed home inspection with flying colors but it has a very old fuse panel in it it has uh screw in style fuses and not breakers so that needs to be addressed and motion sickness for everybody but i have two available power panels um they're older. They're Cutler Hammers. I generally like Square D, but they were both free from friends of mine that were doing renovations and upgrades. So they're both 125 amp uh, units and everything's still available for them. I can get new breakers. I can get new block offs. I can get everything in the world. It just is going to, I think I'm probably going to end up actually using that tan one down there. Um, that one has a little bit better style breaker in it than that one that's painted red. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some uh, garage building videos in the next couple of months.